Hi and welcome back. In today's video, we are going to discuss how to import schedules from Microsoft Excel into Microsoft Project. Because most of the times in many organizations, the initial documents are prepared using Microsoft Excel. And entering the data manually from Microsoft Excel to Microsoft Project will consume a lot of time and a lot of energy. In order to resolve this, Microsoft Project enables us to import data directly from Microsoft Excel. So let's see how is that done. When you open Microsoft Project, this screen will appear before you. Here is where you decide to either create a blank project or maybe create a project from an existing project which is in Microsoft Project format or maybe import a project from Microsoft Excel. In order to import a project, we will click New from Excel Workbook. By clicking this, you can browse the file that you need. So I'll click this, I'll go to Desktop. From here, I will select the Excel Workbook only. And I will select the file that I have created in Microsoft Excel. Then I'll click Open. From here, we will click Next. And there are two options given to you. One is the new map, and another is using an existing map. If you are doing this regularly and you have already established a map, you can use that existing map. But since we haven't done such a thing so far, we will use the new map. And click Next. Then, how do you want to import your file? We will import it as a new project. If you have, for example, another project where you want to merge that Excel file into that project, you can use the other options. And here, we will use as a new project. Click Next again. Next thing is, select the type of data you want to import. In here, we will click the tasks, since we want to import the activities along with their details. We'll click Next again. So, the file is selected. In here, we will come and select the sheet number 1, where our data is located. So, these are the columns which we named in our Microsoft Excel file. The activity name is called name in Microsoft Project, so I'll write down name in here. For the start date, I'll write down start. For the end date, I'll write down finish. Since Microsoft Project uses this terminology for naming the different aspects of a project. Since we typed the predecessor exactly as it is in Microsoft Project, so Microsoft Project has identified it itself. So we don't have to write down anything else in here. And the last thing is the resource name. So we'll write down in here resource names. For the cost, it's cost in here. And then we'll click Next. If you want to use this map over and over again, you will save this map. But in our case, we will use it only once, so I'll click Finish. And as you can see, the file is imported in Microsoft Project. In order for the schedule to be fully customized in Microsoft Project, we have to do some adjustments. For example, for the task mode, I will change it to automatically schedule, and I will apply this to all of our activities in the project. And as you can see, everything, the resource over allocation and everything is resolved. As you can see in the schedule, we have the resource names if you wanted to add other parts to your project schedule, you can do it using the methods that I have explained in the playlist called Microsoft Project of this YouTube channel. I hope you liked the content and found them informative. If you did so, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the video, and furthermore, visit our Instagram and LinkedIn pages. Thank you very much for watching.